Nearly eight years after Summer Ship disappeared, a man police originally questioned sits in jail. Tonight, the new details and how a conviction in a completely unrelated case led to the charges announced late today. The Jackson County prosecutor scrambled in the late afternoon hours to announce charges in the summer ship murder case. Confession uh, to a friend by Mr. Sowerbury that he in fact uh, did kill summer ship. December 8, 2004, summer ship was working, going door to door conducting surveys for her employer. She was on West College Terrace in Independence. People living there told police they talked to her took her survey or were uninterested. The last place anyone saw her was walking toward another home on that block. The home of the man charged today, Jeffrey Sowerbury. The probable cause released today states June 21st of this year, police interviewed a man who said he's known Sowerbury since he was a child. The man said Sowerbury told him Ship came to his house and stated that he thought she was a spy. That when Ship knocked on the front door, he called for her to come to the back, and he snatched her. He choked Ship and cut her throat, and then dismembered her body, put her into a trash bag, and loaded her into his van. The details in the confession correspond with facts in the case. Human remains, later identified as Ship's body, had been found in the Little Blue Trace Park in October 2007 with a garbage bag. The prosecutor says she didn't have enough evidence until the witness came forward. You know, justice may be delayed, um, but it's not denied. And that witness came forward more than a month ago, but the prosecutor said she had to wait to release these charges because of a completely unrelated murder case involving Sowerbury, which ended today. Sowerbury was convicted this afternoon for the 1998 murder of William Kellett. Kellett's body was found inside a trailer on a used car lot in Independence. He'd been shot and stabbed. The Jackson County prosecutor said she didn't want to hinder that case by releasing these new charges. Sourbree is now in the Jackson County Detention Center awaiting sentencing in the Kellett case.